everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new i hope you're all having a wonderful day or morning or whenever you're watching this video so today i am going to be training and i asked you guys over on my instagram story to send me your favorite star stable event you know, I thought that it would be a perfect time because the equestrian festival is here and it's like, I think we're in its last week. So like, you know, I, I like star stable events because they get me being able to be motivated and play the game. So like, yeah. If you guys want to ever be in a video, please check out my Instagram down below into the description. I have a link and you can follow me there. Um, that's where I post my, like, submission box, so, yeppers. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be riding Bean, and I created, like, this blue and silver outfit, but I wanted to incorporate these, like, bows, or not bows, roses, even though, like, they literally do not match. So, it is still morning in the game, it is, like... What time is it for me? It's like 7.30, 7.40. So before um, I get reading your submissions, I want to say what my favorite Star Stable event is because I'm very torn between two. I'm torn between the Christmas Village and the Rainbow um, Festival or whatever it's called, the Cloud Kingdom, mostly because the... Okay, so the the Christmas Village, that event is the event that I first played because I started playing 2019 and like that's like the event that it was in. So um like I really liked that event. That that was like my favorite event and that that event kind of just gives me a lot of nostalgia. Not so much anymore now that they've updated it, but it's still like nostalgic because i i love christmas <laughs> um i don't know i always feel so warm and happy inside and then i like the cloud kingdom event because that one also happens around like my birthday because my birthday is in june and like later june so like normally the cloud kingdom is around there i think last time they did it a bit early but I'm starting to think that they're gonna get rid of the Cloud Kingdom because like they're not really selling the like the horses anymore and like the other stuff. So I'm 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 afraid that they're gonna get rid of that one. But I really like that one because it, it's also very nostalgic and it just reminds me of my birthday. <laughs> um so let's get into your submissions um so the first one is the christmas event because it has a good vibe see this is what i'm talking about there's this like i don't know how to explain it it's like um it just makes me all warm and fuzzy inside because <laughs> it's cold outside and it's snowing outside for me and like Although I bet you the Christmas event is kind of weird for like people in Australia because isn't it summer for them during December? So can you imagine having to play like a super Christmassy event when it's literally like hot outside? If anyone is watching this and they're from Australia, like do you guys find it weird or do you like it? Because it's like a balance of the two. And my next one is, hold on, my phone keeps closing and it has a face ID, so it's so annoying. Okay. Um, the old winter village because of the quests and races that you automatically got. Even though the new winter village looks better, there was almost nothing to do. I kind of agree with you on that one because of the fact that like, like it's i don't know it's just different i mean maybe i'll warm up to it like next year but i didn't really play a whole lot this christmas because i was busy with other things but i remember when we had santa in the game and i don't think he's in the game anymore i think they got rid of him but i remember when we had to do a quest and we had to like save santa and there were like the elves and like the like santa's carriage or what, what his sleigh whatever it's called it like crashed and then you had to help him and then like he gave you a santa hat 
And I don't think you can get that Santa hat. I do know the, uh, the stuff that they had brought out last Christmas, like, that we could buy was, like, really expensive. And I didn't even do, like, any of the collectible stuff. It's, it's weird. I feel like I like what they're doing with the equestrian festival because not only do you have items that you can buy, but you have, like, what is it? It's like four or three sets that you can trade in. There's a Western set. There's like this orange set. And then there's the Bobcat set. Speaking of this festival, it's really weird because it's the open house, but it's like renamed and it's the open house, but better because the open house was very much like a, Hey, there's new horses. Hey, there's new things you can buy. Hey, there's these races. But like now it's very, wait, I don't want to, I don't want to collect flowers. I'm sorry. Oops. I wanted to photo mode. I didn't mean to do that, but it's like the open house. So I wonder if we're not going to have an open house anymore and it's just going to be the equestrian festival, which I'm fine with that because I like the equestrian festival and I like, I like all the colors, the greens, the yellows, and the oranges. It's so cute. Christmas or Halloween and the Halloween. I like that one too, because it's like back to back. Like you have Halloween and then you have Christmas. I kind of wish that there was like one in the middle, but I feel like that wouldn't make any sense because I think it's only America that celebrates Thanksgiving. So shoving a Thanksgiving event would like not make any sense because this game is a Swedish game. But I like that we have, what is it called? That's the, oh my goodness. It's a, it's a Swedish or a Nordic. I don't remember if it's just Sweden that celebrates it but it's the midsummer i love that so much and we don't do that here in america and like that's like one of my favorite things because it's like all about flowers and it's all about the fact that it's like the middle or beginning or like i don't really remember the actual time period but like it's summer that's that's i i love I love it. It's so fun. So yeah, but Halloween is actually really good. I like Halloween. It's very um spooky. It's very spooky. I like the spooky. I forget. What did they do differently last year? Oh yeah, they made it so that you could like collect um stuff on the haunted trail ride. And I really like that because I could go in the haunted trail ride with a purpose. You have to actually earn things. Like obviously you earn the shards, but you're also earning like what was it? It was like the weird, like the raven feathers, the bones, like all that other weird stuff that you could like trade in. I liked doing that. I had a really hard time getting that stupid raven pet though. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um. What the hell? <laughs> what just happened? What just happened? Okay, my horse was very aer aerodynamic. <laughs> I love that so much. Okay, what what was I even talking about? Oh yeah, the stupid crow. Well, raven. It's I don't know what it is. It's a crow or a raven. I don't I don't know, but I got it and it was so hard to get. I don't know why. And the next one is the old winter village from 2021, so like the newer one. It was so much nicer and I liked the layout better. I did. I did like the lay. I mean, I don't know because I'm, I don't know. I feel like the old winter village is the only area that I really find quote unquote nostalgic for me, even though I haven't been playing the game for like a super long time. But like the new one is really nice. I don't even remember what it looks like because I barely played it. But I like how the ice is like, it matches the ice that they put out in 2020 on Jorvik. If I can remember properly. If my brain wants to calculate this morning. I haven't, I haven't eaten breakfast or drinking anything. Drinking? Drinking? Drink? Drink anything? Is that, I don't know grammar. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's... It's a it's an early morning for me. I woke up to my hamster chewing on her toys and it was really loud, so it was great. Um yeah, the next one is um birthday celebration is my favorite because I like the sweaters we get. The birthday celebration was so fun last year. I really had such a great time with the like the horse and the quizzes and that stuff 
yeah i i like that one that one was a good one hey we leveled up well our horse leveled up speaking of level up what i am still so angry that i <laughs> that i'm not level 21 yet it's driving me nuts although i did see on the uh next up in yorvik there's gonna be like a new quest with someone and um i'm excited to do that because you know it's quite oh my gosh i suck i suck but i'm excited to do that because then obviously i'll level up i was gonna do reputation but like i ah, reputation is so annoying like i still have reputation with jamie olive tree um i'm trying to think <laughs> jamie olive tree the fisherman i I think I'm like friendly with them. I hate fishing on this stupid. I hate fishing. Okay, it's it's whoa. It drives me insane because it's like it's not fast. It's one of those things that you have to do ever so slowly, and mmm, drives me insane. <laughs> yeah, the birthday. Okay, I'm getting so off topic. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but the birthday celebration is really fun. I'm trying to remember what else we could have done. I mean, we got the horse, we got the thing. I know that you could have like voted for a horse. Like the, there was like a whole vote thing. I never did that because I didn't really care what horse we got. And I still haven't even trained that horse. Poor Violet, she's just like rotting in my home stable. But yeah, oh, I forgot. There's that new race with Sabine and Khan that I have to do. I think it gives you like a thousand. A th oh, I just hit my microphone, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Um, okay. Hi, Sabine. Hi, Khan. Yeah, it's a thousand. Um, the birthday parade. I love the big stampede of the star fam. I'm trying to remember, was there ever a birthday parade? Well, now I gotta look this one up because I don't even remember. <laughs> Are you talking about the, the birthday event? Hold on. I'm gonna ask, um, I'm just gonna, because I can't type, um, what is the Star Stable birthday parade? Okay, hold on now. Hold on, I really shouldn't be on my phone while doing this race because this race is a hassle. Um, it's just the, oh, it's just the birthday celebrations, right? I don't remember there being a parade though, or like a stampede. Did I miss out on something? What happened? <laughs> Wait, I'm so confused. I do know like i miss stampedes when i was a noob i would always participate in those stupid like moreland to fort pinta stampedes those were fun but like i haven't seen any so far i wonder if that's just a thing that they do over in moreland and like fort pinta for the, like the non-star riders but i want to do i want to do a parade our club should do a parade night if you're watching this video can we please just do like a giant blob of sunforce parade somewhere and just like get the open server involved and like i'll even stream it maybe i don't know whoa hold on way way too many ideas right here hold on <laughs> but um uh, yeah the birthday celebrations great love it so fun the next one is the christmas village i love the vibes and the decorations yes <laughs> yes 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 a hundred million times yes um I don't know i don't know why it's so it's so it's so like I, i'm telling you that warm fuzzy feeling that i'm getting i'm like moving my hands really fast right now so but like that warm fuzzy feeling that you get like that um love it, it I, I, how do i explain it it's like i've heard of it before heard, it starts with an s it's like a word is it sero serotin serotin if anyone knows what i'm talking about it's that word of like that vibe that you get before like the weather is about to change and it's about to be like best festive you you know yeah the seroitan i'm still trying to think of that name I, it's gonna come to me sooner or later the new equestrian visible fit visible <laughs> visible um i'm all for the realistic side of star stable plus all of the amazing special horse coats tack decorations and overall experience favorite event yes this one this equestrian yeah i gotta breathe i'm talking way too fast <laughs> this equestrian event the equestrian festival 
is one of my top, I would say my top three favorite because it's great. It's, it's wonderful. It's great. So yeah. <laughs> um, I think there's one more, one more, one more, one more. I think I'll do one more. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of responses, but that's okay. Um, I can't even read it because my thing is in the way. Okay. Winter. Okay. Okay. Winter village because you can buy different things and it's Christmassy and who doesn't love Christmas, right? Who doesn't love Christmas? And what I like about the winter or like the Christmas village is that it's not because obviously around that time is when a lot of cultures have their celebrations so like if you celebrate christmas you can celebrate christmas with the winter festival if you celebrate you know uh, is it hanukkah i i don't know a whole lot about um other religions you know you can celebrate a lot of other areas i think of uh, is there about to be a championship here yeah, that's what I like about the Winter Festival because it's not just about Christmas. It's about celebrating the fact that there is snow and penguins and polar bears and everything wintry. So, yeah. Oh, there is a championship going on. Hello. Should I participate in this even though my horse is not fully trained? I feel like I should. Let's... We're gonna celebrate or part... Not celebrate. See what... The, I'm... See what I mean? I My words get jambled when I'm talking about something. <laughs> yeah, also, I didn't realize this, but the English thoroughbreds can wear the drop noseband bridles. It's so cute. I love this English thoroughbred. He's a cutie. He's a cutie. I think this is my third English thoroughbred now. I'm also wearing one of the, uh, like, new but, uh, I don't know how to say it, Barquay, but <laughs> one of the new dressage-ish saddles um, on this horse. And I, you know, this thing was 110 star coins, but I was able to buy it with 10,000 shillings because I was doing my, uh, what was I doing? I was doing my why is everything in Star Stable so expensive video. And I just like happened to um, have enough star coins or not shillings i had enough shillings <laughs> um i'll see you all when this event starts actually you know what i give up i don't think i have the patience to wait three minutes <laughs> but um anyway i think that's gonna be the end of today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed if you are new to my channel and this is the first one uh the first video that you're seeing from me i'm so sorry about the chaos you know I'm, uh, actually, no, I'm always like this. So, yeah. Um, but if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed, if you, if you aren't subscribed, wait, how do I say it? If, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe if you haven't already. It would mean so much to me. That's bingo. I got it. And yeah, I will see you all in my next video. If you have any, like, video ideas for me, you can go ahead and put them in the comments because I kind of... Um, I'm not running dry. I just kind of don't know what to do anymore. So yeah, <laughs> uh, but I will see you all in my next video. Bye.